Hello guys! In this lesson, we're going to talk about split testing emails. Let's get started. You need to test emails with what works or not. You don't want to create product promotions where it is not appealing to your subscribers. Split testing your emails allows you to compare two versions of your emails. It gives you an opportunity to see if it works. Use it to test every aspect of your email, like your email heading, content, links, and call to actions. You want to test and analyze your promotional emails to decrease the risk of unsuccessful email marketing campaigns. Now let's take a look at what you can test. First, subject headlines. This is the first part of your email that your subscribers will be able to see. If your subject headline is not even making your subscribers take a second look, your crafted emails won't be tested accurately. So make sure to craft your subject headline to be eye-catching. Next, images. After making your subject headline attract your subscribers to click on your email, you can optimize your visuals inside your mail. You can test what image gets more engagement. Next, content. You can try to test a different set of text in your email body. You can see if what content is most appealing to your subscribers. You can monitor if a shorter message can generate more engagement than longer content. Call to actions. Once your subject headlines and text are optimized, you must make your call to action optimized too. Doing this will let you test your call to actions if it gets more clicks from your subscribers. You're aware that call to actions are important so that you can redirect your subscribers to your landing page. You can test the color of what gets most clicks and also the call to action text as well. Social media buttons. You may notice social media buttons at the end of an email content. This will help you get more people in your social media account so they can follow you. You can test different buttons to see what gets more clicks. Next, the delivery time and date. You can switch the delivery time and date your emails are sent. Try to test what time and day subscribers on your list are more likely to engage with your email. This way, you can schedule email campaigns at the right time and day. You'll be able to know the time that most of your subscribers are online. Now let's take a look on what are the steps you should take to split test your emails. First, determine what to test. One way to have a successful split testing on your emails is to have a basis for doing the test, which remember, you need to test one at a time. Check your statistics. By looking at the statistical data, you will know what among your emails needs to improve. Next, set goals. Determine the result that you want to get from your split test. That way, you will know what outcome you can try to improve on to increase your subscribers' engagement on your emails. And finally, split test your emails. Start the testing and compare the results with your goals. Once you have the results, you'll determine which email you can use in your email campaigns that has the most engagement. Experiment on what you could test in your mails. Remember to pick one variable to split test. Test one at a time only. Determine your goal to know the results that you must achieve in your tests. And lastly, don't be in a rush to get your results. Give it time to produce enough data to determine the success of the split testing. Now that you know about split testing emails, we can now proceed to the next chapter, Mail Sequences. I'll see you there.